Hello guys, welcome to the Flying Automation channel. We are learning here Excel Automation. So in this series, today we will learn the Invoke VBA activity and also see the use case of rename the Excel sheet using VBA. So let's go to the UI path and see the Invoke VBA uh, activity and uh, use case. So I'm opening uh, UI path Studio. You can see here the screen. So now here I'm creating a one new workflow that is a Control N and the name of the file is, uh, workflow is rename sheet. Rename sheet. Okay. So now here we are working on the Excel automation. So we firstly take the Excel application scope activity and select the file which I'll be working on. So I'm selecting the file here that is a rename seed so this uh, i'm selecting first opening select this and open so you can see here this file extension is a xlsm it means macro this is a macro enable file so whenever you're working on the uh, vba so excel sheet extension will be xlm so i have taken this file and now i'm using here the invoke vba activity So here uh, you can see here the VBA source code file path. So where um, you return the VBA code, so that path you can provide here. So here I will show you the VBA code where I am editing. So this is a code of VBA. Uh, I am writing for the uh, change the seat name. So you can see here. Firstly, I am uh, creating a on function. This is a sub function, and the function name is seat name. And is this function only? I have written one line. That is a seats seat one dot name equal to note one it means seat one will be changed by note one so you can uh, i will show you the excel file uh, so this is the file rename seat so i'm opening this file and you can see here so there is it uh, three seats seat one seat two seat three so seat one will be uh, changed by the note one okay so I have written this uh, VBA code and save this file with the ext extension of VBS. Okay, so that code we are using in the UI path. So you can see here I am using that file here. So that file name is rename seat dot VBS. I am opening this. You can see here so rename seat dot VBS file extension. So now we need to provide the function name as well. So function name is rename seat. Okay, so both the parameters are provided here. So now we can run this code and see the output it working or not. It will be working or not. So firstly run and then see the output. Now, now process is completed. You can see here. So now go to the Excel file and see the seat name here you can see here the seat one is replaced by the note one so uh, how it works i think you understand so if you are working uh, working on the multiple seat and we want to change the multiple seat at a time then you need to change the vba code so here you need to write the same code multiple times so here provide the here i'm creating three seat so seat two and seat three and changing the name with the note one note two and note three okay so here i want to tell you uh, one another thing that is a uh, uh, if seat is not available like here seat one is not available in this scenario i'm running uh, writing here the three lines seat one replaced by note one so when program is uh, searching the seat uh, seat one there is no seat one seat available so it it means uh, your uh, code is giving the error so for that you need to uh, write one another uh, line here then your uh, your error will be resolved so here you need to write the one line that is a uh, on error reaching 
next using uh, this line your error is resolved and remaining a page will be updated so this uh, this page will not change because it's already changed so if uh, i'm not writing this line so if you are running this code so if you get the error because of this line so now i'm written this code so it means uh, your this it as will uh, as will are at is it and the remaining sheet will be changed so let's uh, save this file and go to the y path and now again run this code so process completed go here and you can see here so sheet 1 and sheet uh, sheet 2 re will be replaced by node 2 and sheet 3 will be replaced by node 3 so I, once I will uh, show you the error as well. So if I'm not running, if I'm not writing this line, then the see the error, what error coming. So because all the seat are not available, because we are changed the seat name here. So seat one, seat two, seat three are not available. In this scenario, you will get the error. So see the error firstly. So now go to the UI path and run this file. You can see the error runtime error a script out of range because city is not available it means it's uh, the issue so for resolving this issue i have written the code here that is a on error on error resume next Save this file and minimize, and you can see the code. So now I stop this processing and run this again. So now uh, cannot run macro. Seat name is maybe enable the workbook. Okay. So because of uh, we are facing the error, that's why it's the giving the error. So we need to close the Excel and then will it will work. So I hope you understand the invoke activity and the uh, Mac, uh, VBA code as well. So how to rename the Excel sheet. So if you have any query, please write your query in the comment section. We will provide the solution. And thanks for watching this video. That's it for today.